What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video of Heavy Steel and High Rise. Today, we got our little pets out here. I got my little chicken right here. My girls got theirs right here. There you go. You look at them. There you go. We got some chickens out here. Regardless, we get back into the action. Right now, we're going to be doing a little bit of uh, work on this trailer of mine. The 20 foot trailer I have right here. As you see, my beautiful little girls are sitting up here. Um, I'm going to be doing some painting on this trailer, changing out the reflective strips, um, changing out the lights and all that. But the first order of business will be these. Uh, if you see my last video, I went ahead and purchased these right there, little LED lights. They say that they are good for over 100,000 hours, so, or at least 100,000 hours. So we're going to go ahead and do some little bit of uh, cosmetic work on these. We've, we, I say we, but it's been me, has crashed this trailer a bunch of times. So I'm going to go ahead and um, pull in those little those little pieces there. I'm going to go ahead and pull this back the way it is, the way it should be. Because like I said, I've done a little bit of work to this trailer by breaking it and crashing into shit. So let's get right into the mix. Let's go. So first order of business, voy a quitar estos luces, the little lights already. I'm going to go ahead and take them off. That one as well. I'm going to take this one off. You see, we just did some little basic stuff. This is a This is a welding hood lens that we just painted. The inside is painted red. So when the light would hit it, it would reflect. But uh, it's time that this get all done correctly. Let's go ahead and get it done. So I guess. Fairly simple. So a couple of bolts we gotta take off back here. And really the, the good stuff is gonna be when we get into actually pulling this over. I gotta get my, I'll probably back up the 7.3 right here somewhere. In this area right here there you go guys that's it it's already off now i gotta be able to pull this over make it straight need to cut this off right here but i guess i can just slip it off huh there you go that is that won't hurt nobody taking it off that way other than me godly okay there you go and i'm sorry if i'm shaking the camera it's I'm recording my damn self today and I didn't think it would be that important to go ahead and put it on a tripod since I'd be moving around a whole bunch. Same thing as the other side. There's going to be a couple bolts. I'll go ahead and unscrew them. See if I can hold that. Oh, look at that. Holding it with my armpit. Craziness. Life of a goddamn YouTuber. Some bullshit. Get a life, brother. Alright, there you go. So, take those off. I don't know the exact size. I guess I could have used a socket set, so I could have told you that and been a little bit more useful, but uh, that's not this type of show. So, went ahead and used a Crescent wrench, a good old Crescent wrench. And uh, we'll cut this open and uh, see where they're uh, spliced at. And I have some uh, little butt joints over there that we'll go ahead and attach. But like I said, this one is the one that's worse. So. I'm going to see if I can pull it out, probably put the torch on it, pull it, see what I can do. Definitely going to pull it out first, and then if i got to put the torch and start banging it out, I will. If not, then I'll just, might want to, might not want to put too much torch on there because I don't want to have it like uh, all fucking burning all the damn paint. So I might just uh, bang it out. We'll see where it takes us. Let's get it going. I just wrapped it around, and now I'll try and keep the slack where it's, gonna be as pretty as possible what I like to do is run it through here I'm trying to do it with one hand run the slack through that hole I don't know if that's what it's made for but it tends to keep the slack pretty consistent when I'm when I'm tightening down so I'm gonna go ahead and just try to get this to a damn near 90 degree there you go that's it baby That's it. So I'm gonna get ahead and hold that there. Cause I gotta tack weld that down. Let's go ahead and jump and do the other side. I have another ratchet strap over there. There you go, my boy. I love that guy right there, man. There as in the gate. Yep, knew that was gonna happen. Okay, well, that settles that, guys. We're gonna go ahead and just pull this off instead <laughs> and bang this out. Ah, this is a beater. People call it a sledgehammer. It's not a sledgehammer, it's a beater. Or if you don't know how to swing it, it's your purse. It's 
moving, guys. Definitely moving. Not very much. Calm down, man. Talking that shit already. I can't do that. I'm trying to show you what we're working with. So, straightened it out a little bit. I'm trying to at least get this point right here straight with that point. So it needs a little bit more and then I'm gonna start knocking this in. Sorry, hit the camera there guys. Got a little carried away, hit the camera, hit the camera. My bad, my bad. Well, what do you guys think? It's straighter, it's definitely not perfect, but it's definitely straighter. So if we get this angle iron, I'll go ahead and just set it right there. Still not straight because that back one still needs to get pushed back quite a bit. But I'm not real worried about that. I could just kind of put it right there. I can make that work right there. Weld the inside, weld the top of it. Shit, I might even throw a weld right there in the back so it don't move. That's the plan, guys, right there. I know I've had a lot of guys get on my ass because I don't have particularly the best skills in wrapping up my leads. But I try my best, man. And then they, the my motherfucking leads. Go ahead and crank this welder on. Tack this one down. Weld that one over there. I gotta get my welding stuff out of my gang box right quick. Alright, we got the welder on now. So let's go ahead and get started doing this shit. side markers and I'm gonna inevitably I'm gonna hook those into the brown into into the hot wire so whenever the back lights come on those will come on and stay on as well <laughs> Here's your little one. Everybody, we got everything done. It was me and the chickens today, and my girls out here working on uh, working on these lights. Got the lights ran. Got new LED lights. Got a whole new hookup, whole new wiring in there for this trailer. 
Now, I removed all the side marker lights. I'm gonna be putting some new ones in, so um, we're not done just yet. But this is just for the LED lights in the back. Um, I tried to test it earlier. I forget that this 7.3 is having some electrical issues. I was figuring it was the 6.0. Um, the 6.0 is actually getting some new sensors and some new valves put in it right now. Um, I'm just gonna keep on upgrading that as much as I can. Um, so we're gonna hold off on this. It's gonna be the video for today. I know it really wasn't much guys. It was me doing a whole bunch of running around, me doing a whole bunch of uh, wire running and little maintenance to this, uh, this asset of mine that is my 20 foot trailer. If this is the kind of stuff that you guys like though, cause you know, I'm an entrepreneur, I'm a young contractor, I have a thriving business. Um, and we also like to do these YouTube videos. So we try and just keep you guys along for the ride to show everything the ins and outs of what it is to own a steel company, steel contracting business. And sometimes it's uh, doing maintenance to these things like the trailers, the assets, you know? So if this is something you guys like, go ahead and subscribe, comment down below, go ahead and thumbs it up, share the video with anybody that you might know that might like this type of things. Heavy Steel and High Rods. My name is Jose Avila. I hope you guys have a blessed day. Stay strong, stay blessed, stay grateful, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.